Hello YouTube stackers. This is ST with Silver Stacking 101, where we always believe in staying stat and packed. Stat with silver, gold, food, ammo, and packed with the means necessary to defend our stack. A viewer commented a link to a CNBC news story for November 6th, and I appreciate it because I actually missed this story. With all the election coverage and the crappie biting, this one kind of slipped under my radar. So I appreciate the comment and the story. The story is, former J.P. Morgan trader pleads guilty to manipulating U.S. metals markets for years. I am going to put a link to this article in the description on this video. If you view the video right after it's posted, come back in five minutes, the link should be there. Here's what was going on or is going on within J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan, from this article, appears to have been using a technique known as spoofing. Spoofing is a way to manipulate the market to a direction one wants it to go. It is accomplished by placing fictitious trades, even, either to show more people willing to sell or more people willing to buy. The Whoever's doing it tries to manipulate the price to benefit their position. It is highly illegal and it does go on. According to this article, J.P. Morgan was unaware of the investigation until this trader pleaded guilty which means there's been a lot of legwork done in the background to move the government in its position to start taking down or taking action. I want to cover two things about this article and the ramifications that will come from it. First of all, what's going to happen to J.P. Morgan? Well, let me tell you what's going to happen. Remember the golden rule, not the do unto others one that we should follow. Unfortunately, the golden rule in corporate America is he who has the gold makes the rules. Here's what's going to happen. First of all, the PR department of J.P. Morgan will come up with this great press release how J.P. Morgan's an esteemed institution and takes this very seriously and has, is put in procedures in place to prevent this kind of misconduct from taking place in the future under this in this very great American financial institution. The government is going to level a huge fine against JP Morgan for this conduct. The fine will be far less than the profits that JP Morgan made from doing this, the terminology will be changed. J.P. Morgan will learn, don't get caught next time doing this, and everything will continue like it is. The government, when all stripped away, is just trying to get their cut of the action. It's great. The politicians can beat their chest. Look what we're doing, uncovering criminal activity. U.S. attorney can look like they actually did something. They ring in the re government register, far less than what J.P. Morgan will have profited from these activities. And, be honest, it will continue in the future. That's the first thing. So keep in mind, this is not the government looking out for us, the citizens. This is the government looking for their cut of the action, just like the mob. The second thing that is going to happen is pumpers will get on YouTube, if they haven't already, I haven't watched their videos, and say, see, this is proof that the market is totally manipulated. These are very short-term manipulators. This is not long-term for precious metals holders. It's not, it doesn't affect us. If we buy and sell paper silver, Yes, it does affect us if we play options 
and we want to commit financial harry-carry, it affects us greatly. But for holders of physical metal, this is not evidence of long-term manipulation. There is an economic or a financial principle that goes like this. The aggregate of the local optima does not equal the global optima. Local in this case is the short time period. Global would be the overall long time period. I want to do a video about that. I've threatened to do that for a while. When I do it, I will have to set up a video cam and I will have to have a whiteboard to walk you through it. That's not 101 stuff. That's a little bit more advanced than I can go through on a 10 minute video. And it's not, it's very interesting once you get into it, it's just getting to the aha moment. But short term manipulators, these guys time period that they're concerned about is very, very short. Think about the paper markets. They all very, very short term trades. Um, the total manipulation for short term does not affect long term. So when pumpers get on and say, this is evidence that the whole market's manipulated and discount that, it's not. Does this go on? Unfortunately, yes. Is JP Morgan alone in their guilt on this? No, it goes on everywhere. And why does it go on? Because what's the penalty for doing it? You have to give up some of your profits. Not all of your profits. It's still very profitable to do it. It, said, it says in this article, the trader is looking at 30 years in prison. He's a cooperating government witness. The government's going to get a crap load of money. They're going to recommend probation. This guy's not going to serve a day. And... He, there will be a two or three sacrificial lambs from J.P. Morgan that will get probation, and everything will continue on. It goes on. We know it goes on. It's going to continue to go on. It's going to continue to go on at J.P. Morgan even after all this because, hey, if you get caught like J.P. Morgan has, they still profit from that activity even after the penalties. Let me know what you think. Agree or disagree? Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And remember, stay stacked and packed.